This episode was brought to you by Pentester Academy, the leader in online cybersecurity education. Join over 10,000 professionals from 90 countries to learn security online. Also brought to you by Hacker Arsenal, artillery for cyber warriors. Visit us on HackerArsenal.com to check out our latest attack defense gadgets. I'm Marley Oxenholm from Pentester Academy TV, and welcome to our show, The Toolbox, where we showcase the latest and greatest software tools so you can use them to better your security. I have an awesome tool to show you guys today. Let's take a look at Brute Spray. Brute Spray is an automated service authentication brute force tool. It can take an Nmap scam output XML file as input and brute force all identified services. It also supports multiple protocols including SSH, FTP, Telnet, SMTP, POP3, and more. This tool is written in Python and was developed by Shane Young and Jacob Robles. It is also based on Medusa Project, which is a parallel and modular authentication brute forcer. Now, you're probably wondering how to use this tool. Well, take a look at this great example. In this demo, we will learn how to launch brute force attack on services running on a Metasploitable 2 target machine using Brute Spray. First, let's check the IP address of Metasploitable 2. Now, we will run Nmap tool to generate output in XMI file format. Then flag SS defines service name and SV defines service version. Finally, XO option is used to specify the output format, which is XML file. To keep the demo short, we will be using default password list of Brute Spray with the correct credentials. Let's launch the Brute Spray script and feed Nmap XML file to it using F option. We can observe that the tool is trying to brute force all services one by one. Once the brute force succeeds or the tool runs out of entries in the list, the results will be stored in the brute spray output folder. In cases of success, we can observe that the correct credentials for services in the output folder. By using such tools and a simple Python or Bash script, an attacker can automate the brute force attack on multiple services for multiple machines in less time and effort. Another reason to stay away from default or weak passwords. Well, that's all the time I have for you guys today. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this tool breakdown. Be sure to tune in next time for another episode of The Toolbox. Also, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook so you don't miss out on any of the latest cybersecurity news. This episode is brought to you by Pentester Academy, the leader in online cybersecurity education. Join over 10,000 professionals from 90 countries to learn security online. Also brought to you by Hacker Arsenal, artillery for cyber warriors. Visit us on HackerArsenal.com to check out our latest attack defense gadgets. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.